Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Shattered Earth campaign. What? As, no, Wrong. it's not. It's not Man. Shattered Earth campaign. No. It's it's the third episode. Calm down. Um, okay. Welcome to our Glacier Ridge campaign. That's the name of it. There it is. Um, anyway, sorry. My apologies. Um, this is our Glacier Ridge campaign. Uh, it is another campaign that I have created. Uh, however, this one is not in D&D. It is in the Monster of the Week rulebook. Monster of the Week rulebook is created by Michael Sands. Um, and yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's based on your favorite Monster of the Week TV series. Uh, Supernatural, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, X-Files um dresden files i've never seen that but apparently that's a monster of the week thing scooby-doo uh, yeah scooby-doo sure um anyway so yeah it's based on all of those type of things where there's a new monster every every once in a while where they have to figure out what it is now those are weeks um every week is a new show um, it's a little bit different in our games because it's going to be one monster for probably like one or two months and then it'll be on to the next monster, then on to the next monster, then on to the next monster. That being said, um, this is the Glacier Ridge campaign. Glacier Ridge is a fictional uh, town in a real area. Um, this takes place in the Northwest Territories in Canada uh, near the Nahani Valley. The Nahani Valley, if people don't know, is an area where there's a lot of weird happenings. Um, people think that might be real. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, people think that there were giants there. Um, people think dinosaurs are still around there somewhat. Um, there's uh, the Valley of the Headless Men in that area, where over the course of many, many years, there was bodies that would just show up with no head at the river shoreline um no head and burnt um and then they were all ruled accidents because you know that accidentally happens all the time um anyway so yeah that's that's basically what we are doing um and then yeah we have new players uh, new characters, not new players. Um, we are missing Frankie tonight uh, because work stuff and other things. Um, but yeah, she is out for tonight. However, she said that her plan was to just stake out the Albatross Manor anyway. So, I mean, she was pretty much just going to be standing around for the most, most of the night anyway. So, that's good. Um... Last we left off, you guys did a bunch of investigation in the town. Uh, Wyatt went and caused some trouble, because why not? Uh, he gave his long-range walkie-talkie to uh, long-range radio to a couple of kids in a park who just started causing chaos on the radio, saying that their name wasn't their name, and yeah. And then he followed a kid into the forest, and learned about some things that this kid knew. Um, and then uh, Frankie talked to a few different people. Um, one was the editor at the press. Um, another one was a shop owner uh, of the Glacier Ridge General. A very... I She said Wiccan vibes. I was trying to go with like Yogi vibes. Um but everybody has their own opinion um granola that's a, that's an option too hippie i mean she already used the term hippie so she had to go with something else um uh, and then uh maxine interviewed a couple of people as well one being evelyn the owner of the diner who uh does not believe that it's anything paranormal or supernatural she believes that it's just power outages and kids doing pranks um she then talked to a couple of 
old folks at the diner as well who basically said bah humbug we don't believe in any of this stuff um and then i believe you also went to talk to somebody at the art studio and she kind of told you about an experience that she had had um frankie then went to talk to uh edmund at the uh jebediah memorial hunting lodge and he basically told her to get out because he she's wasting her time wasting his time and he doesn't get paid enough for this um anyway i think that's pretty much it then you guys all met up at the diner to give up give your thoughts and conclusions that you had come to so far um so you are at the diner dining eating drinking what do you do Uh, I think it might be an idea for us to uh, go to the pub tonight. The heck was that called? Turner's Pub. Because they're... uh, Charlie Adams from the art studio. She had said that she'd seen something, so she wanted to... Well, I just said that, you know, she wanted to get together later for a drink, and she said that most people go and hang out at the pub. And I think Frankie said that somebody was going to... Somebody else was going to perhaps be there. Yeah, but that that won't be until later tonight, right? Yeah. I'm just... I want to make sure that we're going to meet where most of the people are it sounds like it's like a general gathering place what time is it yeah uh it? it's around like time 2 p.m at this point because late so lunch is, late lunch same like, day from yesterday yeah it's the, still the same day um okay. and uh actually it's frankie's meeting with edmund was at two so it's probably close to like 2 30 2 45 now okay So I don't know. There's a couple other places in town too. That we could go check out. Cause there's uh I wouldn't mind talking to uh I think it was Aria, 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 the librarian that was Finn's mom, right? Also the apothecary drugstore type thing as well. I think there's somebody else to meet there. Unless you guys think that we should go wander around or... I don't know. What ideas do you guys have? I don't want to be the only one, like, leading here. I mean, I think the best... I'm I'm just... I think what's going on is tomorrow morning is getting up early. Well, Charlie and I can probably make sure that happens. And we'll have to be prepared for it. Yeah, we can make sure you're up and... Well... Yeah, we need to uh, discuss possibilities in case we do encounter something. So is that all of us doing that? Or is that... Like, I don't know. Uh, Anyone who wants to get up and see if something's going on tomorrow needs to be a part of it. Because that was a kid that you talked to, right, Wyatt? Yeah. He said he's seen it before. And it's so common that it happens every day, or... I don't know. Uh, He didn't say. I wonder if I went and talked to his mom, whether she knows anything or because how old is how old is Finn uh you would probably estimate for yourself there uh Wyatt probably about seven uh he's around seven or eight 
I may have been playing him a little young, but that's the age that he should be. And he's not just imagining stuff or like it seemed like I I didn't talk to the kids, so it's like it seemed like it was legit. I mean, he's saying there's a monster that comes out in the morning. I don't think it's legit, but clearly there's something that has him thinking that there is. Did he seem afraid or anything? Um, no. But I'm not 100% sure if that's a good um Hello? indicator can you not hear what he was saying did you guys lose audio no oh, your dad muted me oh. muted my hearing okay he I said mean, go ahead say it again there i gonna say i don't know that he was he didn't really necessarily seem afraid but i don't know that that's a good indicator as to whether it's true or not okay well, maybe I'll go. I'm guessing the library will still be open. I wonder if I could zip over to the library and maybe talk to his mom and see whether we can find out anything else. Everybody think that's a good idea? But that's not, fine with like... me. Uh, I don't know what his parents are going to say. They're probably going to think that he's uh, making stuff up because he's a kid. Well. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong I am only here for security but I believe the point of this show would be following any leads we find it's easy enough to wake up in the morning and see if there's trails yeah true yeah that's a good point okay well I'm gonna head over to the now that we're done eating I'm going to head over to the library then and see if I can talk to his mom. So I'm going to get up and go to the library. Okay. If only I knew where it was. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the library. Okay. Um, so you had oh right i can do something here uh, all right so you start heading across town to the library i am while you're talking here i was also trying to build the map but all i've got so far is the street layout so we're getting there um okay. so you are heading over and you see uh in the heart of the town the library standing uh it's got a sign outside saying glacier ridge public library um it's classic arch architecture arched windows covered by ivy um elegant lettering proclaims it as the glacier ridge public library and stone steps lead up to the entrance where a pair of sturdy oak doors welcome the visitors Okay, I'm going inside. Is it? It's open still, right? Yeah, I mean, like okay. it's it's only two o'clock. Wow, well, almost. Who three knows? Now. Almost three now. Um, you're right. It's closed. Um, <laughs> where is he? There it is. <clears throat> That's what you see. Uh, so you head up the staircase and go inside and you get instantly hit with that smell that you get when you walk into a library the smell of books a little bit of smell of dirtiness because you know people um, and then yeah there is a woman uh, sitting behind the counter with her nose in a book um, let me get that for you here and then I'll up Put it on the stream as well. Do do do. You see her. Pop that on the stream. 
something in the water that everybody has slightly red hair here? Uh, there is a decent amount of redheads in town. Um, it is a little strange, but hey, you're not from town anyway, so. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, she's reading a book. Uh, okay, so I'll go, if she's at the counter, you said? Yeah. Okay. I'll go up. Uh, excuse me. Can I bother you for a sec? Um, as you're talking to her, she kind of holds up a finger for a second. Uh, yes. How can I help you? Is your name Aria? Um, a little strange, but y yes. Well, I was talking to Elaine this morning. Who's Elaine? Or not Elaine, Evelyn, sorry. And she was saying that you were... Oh, sorry. We're in town. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about it. We're doing some investigation into the strange buildings on in the town. Uh, we're just as soon it. as you say that, she kind of rolls her eyes in a somewhat subtle way, but you catch it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just... We're just trying to get a feel for everything in town here. And it's like... You're... I believe it's your son's name came up, Finn. And uh What did he do yeah, now? Somebody's... No, 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 no. No, he, he I I haven't even met him. I just I've heard about him a little bit and uh he sounds like a very interesting child. But I was just if wondering by interesting if could... you mean always getting into trouble and going places where he shouldn't? Then yes. He is. <laughs> I think that all young children seem to be like that though. Isn't that right? Or that's what I've heard anyway. I know I used to get into lots of stuff too. I was always looking into stuff, maybe things that I shouldn't be looking into, but I survived. And uh, yeah, he sounds like quite the character. Oh, he is. He is. Uh, what is it that you're looking for exactly, though? Well, I'm, it's like, I wouldn't mind talking to him, but it's like, I was just wondering whether, like... How, what you think about this or like I I see that you have some skepticism and it's like I understand because it's like yeah sometimes it's a just a pile of hooey and people are trying to trick trick people but you know your son's so interested in it from what I've heard that I don't know I just think it'd be interesting to talk to him because it's like it sounds like he gets around quite a lot so you know maybe he's seen something but it's like I didn't want to talk to him until I talked to you first because, you know, as his mother, but... Well, he's always yeah, saying just... that he's seen something. So, yes, he, he says that he sees things, but it's not necessarily accurate information. He is only seven years old. They come up with stories all the time. Well, but to be fair, it's like people other than children have been saying that they've seen some stuff or felt some stuff or... And who's you know, that? So, well, I don't want to say necessarily, but yeah, it's like I know Frankie, one of our uh, other ones on our team, they also have talked to some people and they've said that, you know, they've seen they've seen some things as well. But and And the thing is, they don't necessarily believe that it's anything real or whether it's just their imagination or whatever, but it just seems coincidental that a lot of people are having the same kind of uh, visions, or I don't, I don't know the right word to use, but have the same kind of feeling, the same kind of vibe going on. So, yeah, it just seems odd. So, like you haven't experienced anything like that yourself? No, and even if I did, I, I am the type that everything can be explained. We have plenty of books here, science books, uh, all types of literature. Everything can be explained in one way or another. Oh, I get it. Because it's like that was one thing that I always, well, even from when I was a child, there was always some weird stuff. But it was like, I just like to investigate until I can either find the conclusion or, you know, what, what the actual thing is. Because, yeah, I don't want to just take whoever's word for it it's like i need to know 
why this is happening or how it's happening or that type of thing so it's like i understand completely and the fact that you work at a library is amazing because it's like yeah like you said you've got so much information at your fingertips and it's like you know it's you have this world of information available to you all around you so but yeah would it be okay if i talk to finn or do you think i, I mean I sure I, knock yourself out i again the information is be aware who you're getting it from <laughs> right right and you don't know anybody yourself besides your son that like any rumors or anything going around because like i said if i can talk to all these different people and you know perhaps set sit down and you know do a little more research maybe maybe we can get to the bottom of this and show that it's nothing really that it's just you know people's imagination or it's an electrical thing like most people are you know like what the what the authorities seem to be saying so it's like that way you know it's done and over that type of thing i mean sure there's a lot of people who talk like that around town but you know again uh if you really want to get into it uh there's there's maggie um there's molly um art um dunk has also been uh one to kind of talk as well um but yeah it's you, everybody around town always has not everybody but a lot of people around town always have these claims and they can't substantiate any of them so why should i believe any of them well what do you think then is causing these power outages then like what what do you think's at the bottom of we've this? only Since had these have... power poles for a year we've had issues with power in the past who uh -huh. knows maybe they didn't work out all the kinks uh we have storms here that can knock out power we have high high winds here that can knock out power it can be anything okay yep i get it i get it well, okay, so Maggie, Molly, and you said Dunk Dunk as well? Yes, Dunk. Okay. Alright, well. Oh, and you said Art as well. Sorry, I missed one. Okay, well, thanks for your time, and, uh, is, well, it's, it's almost three o'clock now. Is it, do you know where I could find Finn, maybe? Um, he's usually playing in the woods, but I'm not 100% sure. He might okay. be at the park. Okay. Well, thanks so much for your help, and, and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you around sometime. It's possible. Uh, it's a pretty small town. Um, come in here anytime you want, um, but if you're going to start reading books, you'll need to get a card. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Arya. Okay, yeah. and I leave. Okay. Who's next? I guess I'm waiting at the diner to see if she comes back. Will she okay. will I she guess I, I can back? go back to the... I can go back to the di well, that makes kind of sense because it was why it was the last one that saw the kids. So, okay. So yeah, I'll go back to the diner then. Okay. What'd you find out? Well, his mom isn't exactly on the same page as Finn is, obviously, but. Uh, yeah, she said it was okay if we talked to him. He thinks everything is totally uh, explained by weather, or there could be glitches, or that type of thing. So hers is all, she, she doesn't believe anything fanciful. So, so yeah, but uh, yeah, she said it was okay if, if we talked to Finn, so... Uh, I mean, it's clearly nothing fanciful. Well, that's, yeah, she did give me a few other names. I don't know, because it's like, uh, 
Does Maggie? Did we talk to the Maggie? I feel the like Maggie? Somebody did. No, sorry. I guess there's more. There could be more than one. Or did somebody else? I'm trying to look through. Somebody Maggie's got note. information about Maggie, but not. Oh right, it wasn't. right. Yeah, I'm just. I'm the only reason I'm thinking that because Frankie did give me their notes. So, uh, yeah, I'm just looking through their scribbling here. But yeah, oh yeah, something about the winter festival. And there was a strange aura or something. Okay. Yeah, Maggie was giving off a strange aura according to the owner right. of the general store. Right. Okay. And then she also mentioned a Molly, and I don't, I, yeah, I guess I should have asked more, but if I see that Charlie tonight, maybe I'll ask about that. And then two other guys, Art and Dunk, has anybody heard of them? I haven't heard of anybody other than, uh, Phil? You say Phil? I got the name wrong, didn't I? Finn. Finn. I don't know why I was thinking Phil. I don't know either. Did you just finish watching Modern Family? No. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, why, do you want to, do you, can you figure out where, is Finn still in the, like was he in the woods when you left or uh he was running into he was running back into town okay do we just want to wander around or, his mom said that that's generally where he'll be is in the woods or i think she said at the park as well so it's like i don't know we can track him down and maybe see if he'll talk to me at all i don't know it's like we seem to have a decent rapport with him so do we know if any of the other people are kids or if they're all adults? She didn't. Are you asking me? She didn't specify. Yeah, she didn't give me. Uh, she just Maggie gave me was names. Maggie was mentioned, I believe, to Frankie, Frankie that she was elderly. Yeah, an older woman. That's what they have in their notes. Okay. I'm gonna say because I, I can probably talk to anyone who's younger easier than someone who's older. Yeah, and I don't know how much Finn would give to me anyway, being much older yeah. than him. But I don't know. And I actually I don't know how much more I could get out of him than why it could anyway. So there was that. The other place we haven't. Me. Go ahead. I think Finn gave me most of what he had. Okay. I don't know that he's hiding anything. I definitely didn't get that impression. Okay. Um, I think there's... Wyatt goes and grabs him by the collar. Pulls him over the ledge of the Tell park. Tell me more! <laughs> well, I mean, uh... there's a certain camaraderie when you make it when you make a castle together. Exactly. Oh, very true. Very true. Um... There's also the apothecary, and uh, I thought wandering around, I might have, or there's an antiquities shop or something. Uh, antiquities? Yes. Uh, it's it's not just like an antique store. Yeah, story. it is. It's Evan's Antiquities. Yeah. It was actually... According to my notes, it was Charlie and Wyatt that saw that. It could be. So. I mean, we so oh, we didn't go in now. Okay, well, there's a couple more places. Well, the list of names of people again. Uh, Maggie, Molly, Dunk, and Art. I can go see if I can find a Dunk. That sounds like an interesting, fun name. Sure. Can't be old and have a name like Dunk. <laughs> Wanna <a> bet? <laughs> That's fine. It's like a hundred year old man. Uh, okay, well. I believe. Yeah. Okay, give me uh 
what role is it here? I was told. Um, okay, so what? How how are you how are you searching for it? Like, what are you doing to search for Dunk? I was gonna go ask the lady at the front desk. Uh, was it Caitlin who owns the inn? The, the Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn. I was gonna ask her if she knew where Dunk was. Okay, uh, you guys are in the diner currently, so that's where she is. Um, so that's fine, um, if you want to ask her. She's currently busting a table, bringing stuff back to the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to walk over there. Excuse me, Evelyn, I'm, I'm sorry to intrude, um, but I was hoping you could help me. I've heard that there is somebody in town named Dunk, and I was hoping to go find him and talk to him. You're looking for Dunk. Mm -hmm. all right um not a problem that's perfectly fine um sure um he is the owner of mcgregor furriers so if you're looking for a nice fur coat definitely a nice place to stop by okay you you almost made it sound like i shouldn't be asking to talk to dunk um i mean you're a little young and he's a little eccentric that's all I'm gonna say. He's not young. No, no. He um. Hmm. I don't even know. Uh, maybe he's in his like fifties. You old? How can you be that old and have a name like Dunk? Well, his name's Duncan, and he still goes by Dunk. He's eccentric. Maybe. As I just said. Maybe that's all he can say. Maybe. You never know. Does he have a hard time talking? Is that all of his name he can get out in one breath? No. He's he's able to speak. Maybe he just likes it better than Duncan. I don't know. You'll have to ask him. I will. I have a new... A new uh amount of questions to ask him because uh this is much more important you you go why ahead someone do who's ancient goes by dunk he's like an adult he should be going by his full name duncan all right well you go ahead and tell him that and see how that goes for you i will i'll be back I'm going to walk back over to the table. Okay. So what did so, you find out? I found out that Duncan is old, like really old, and somehow still goes by Dunk instead of Duncan. I think that's all he can say. She was trying to be nice and tell me that like he he's more capable than that, but I've got my concerns when somebody can't say their full name. When they're in a how, how old is he? He's like 50 something. Oh. Okay. How about, is it okay if I go with you, Wyatt? Maybe? I mean, I you can ask so. him your questions about being old, but. Uh... Oh, I will. He, need, he needs to explain some things. Uh, maybe try to be polite. We want the people here to accept us. I haven't been rude. Well, don't. I, I just mean don't go asking him why he can't say his full name or stuff like that. I just told her I was gonna ask. Well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hey, I guess we're going to McGregor's Furriers. McGregor Furriers. Oh, sorry. Yeah. McGregor Furriers. We're going to go get a fur coat. Nice. Is it cold? Um, I mean, it's Canada. It's northern Canada. And it's 
it's a yeah january like, it, yeah it's january so you're probably looking at like it's beach weather minus 15 <laughs> minus 20 something like that oh Maybe that might be get pushing a it a bit as in like might be i could see it being quite a bit colder than that um let me find out for you give me a second yeah northwest territories i'm like Oh, course, yeah, I'm a, there now. I'm a little bit off. It's minus 28 there right now. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking somewhere around negative 30 would be probably. Uh, right. Yeah, I just looked up North, uh, Fort Simpson, which is the closest like real location to where you are. And yeah, it's minus 29 there right now. Yeah, so it's uh, definitely fur coat, coat weather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's not politically correct anymore, it's like. That that seems like it would be a nice choice. I don't think there's necessarily a politically correct when you live in no middle of nowhere or Northwest Territories. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be too sure about that. You think I can get a beaver coat? Well, what yeah. I mean by that is uh, what we see as politically correct wouldn't necessarily match up with what they do. That's fair. Um... True. All right, so you're going to McGregor's Furriers. How come you yeah. say, how come you can say McGregor's Furrier? I don't know, because I'm cool like that. Uh. Mainly because I'm distracted because somebody's complaining about not having a map. Um, Who would do that? Everybody. I figured the DM would have all this time. Hey, it's not the I DM. Never it's the keeper. Anything about not having a map. Um. Okay. So. I, I've been spending a lot of time making NPCs. I've created like another seven over the course of the past week. So, um, to be fair, I'm not one who can judge because this is going on week two. I haven't actually been able to make us an overlay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, just for funsies, I'll put you on what I have so far. There we go. You guys should be able to see that. I like the scribbles. That's the forest. Uh because the forest was behind the park, remember? Remember? Right, yeah. Oh, and those uh, are all roads. I see, I see. Yeah. I figured roads are about fifteen feet wide. Am I <laughs> am I wrong? Are they? Uh, you're not wrong but they are generally also not like a hundred feet apart from each other well they have ha places in between them yes but all i'm saying is uh the scale of the road and the scale of the buildings do not match up quite right whatever anyway uh that, that saying that building is less than like half the width of the road okay so uh you guys are headed to mcgregor's furrier mcgregor furriers I'm going to mess that up now that I've been screwed up on it. <clears throat> um, I will send a picture to the group here. What are you ooing about? All these names. What names? You've got a forge. Oh, those names. Um, you are going here so as you head to the building uh, you see a rustic log cabin style shop and as you walk in you see an array of furs pelts and hides the shop is adorned with animal themed decorations and the scent of leather and fur permeates the air um, you uh, like I said you have the scent of leather and fur but it's also mixed with the woodsy aroma of cedar and pine that line the walls uh, it gives off like a feeling of like history and tradition um, the pelts and furs inviting you to touch and admire them um, occasionally you'll hear like the soft rustling of fur and the creak of wooden floors uh, as it's kind of a calming ambiance it's uh why didn't we come here sooner this place is awesome it's uh it is nice isn't it 
it's got raw natural beauty on full display and it's uh it's a nice feeling as you enter into it um anyway there's nobody in the shop just, right now i just want to pet everything is there a bell or anything um on the desk there is a uh a duck with a button at the bottom of it like it's on a wood like a circular piece of wood and there's a button on that circular piece of wood and yeah it's a taxidermy duck sitting on top of it is there a label the button nope hello Duncan you didn't want to call him just Dunk? I told you. He's old. Dunk! I forgot I gotta speak up. Looks like there's a button you can push. Do you want to push the button, Wyatt? Oh, I'm gonna jump up and push the button. Uh, as you push the button, you start hearing, echoing through the halls of this place, a bunch of, like, quacking. Um, disembodied quacking, basically. Um, and it starts oh no, like echoing the quackening. Echo, echoing down the hallway and it finishes <laughs> quacking at the desk in front of you. Um, with that, you see a man come around the corner. Um, I'm going to pop his picture on stream first and then I will pop his picture um, in the um, chat. One second here. I just do the same thing i sure can nice uh you see this man come around the corner he's like what who's oh, there geez. oh uh customers hi um how, oh, how are, hi. uh I'm what are you wyatt. looking for it's nice to meet you wyatt um what are you looking for today uh I was... go ahead wyatt i was hoping to talk to you um me why why are you talking to me ben told me about the footprints um i wouldn't know anything about that you look like you would know everything about that i mean you look like you must be a great tracker i've been known to catch a thing or two Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, hi, Duncan, is it? Uh, yes. Who's asking? I, I'm Maxine. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, uh, my friend and I and some others have come into town. Why do you have cameras doing... on? Well, Wyatt likes Are to... you from the government? No, 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 I no, pay no, no, my no. taxes. Oh, no, no, no. No, so all of I them are paid, I promise. Hey, no, that's not what we're here for. I... Um, why are your cameras on? There's a blinking light on that one. Why? Do you want to turn it off for just a sec, or...? Hold on. Yeah, I'll turn it off. Okay. There. Do you feel better? The camera's off? Not really. Why are you here? Okay. I don't know if you've heard. Obviously you haven't. But yeah, um, my friends and I, we've come into town and we're doing some investigating into the strange happenings that have been going on in town. And uh, Aria... Is it Aria or Aria? Aria. Oh, yeah. Aria said that you might be someone that that we would want to talk to and why it was fascinated by you so he wanted to come over here as well you have a beautiful store here did you I do know. all this your, yourself i caught each and every one and tanned tan them all myself that's amazing it's beautiful work so beautiful but yeah um we were just wondering though uh 
do you have any stories about what's been going on here or have you seen anything or you can kind of see his eyes are like darting back and forth and he's like i don't think the cra needs to know about that you think that tax we're not tax people i don't know I you promise. seem like tax people it's weird no, no, though no, no, no. You, you've hired started we're hiring younger and younger Why, what did you ask? Who are the CRA? Uh, sorry, oh, a... this is the Canada Revenue Agency. Is the oh, CRA. Right. <laughs> I'm like, everybody knows that. Not people from the States who have the IRS yeah. instead. Yes. That's our, yeah, that's the tax for Canada. That's who takes the tax. But I, like I said, we're, we're not with the tax people for sure. And why would they want video of you? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. But no, we're we're investigating what what's been happening here with the electricity, like the power going off and on and the strange things that people have been seeing. That that's what we're investigating. We don't have we don't care about taxes at all. We and you you've already said you pay your taxes, so that's great. I definitely do. All of them. That's fantastic. But yes, that has nothing to do with us. Right, Wyatt? No. I mean, you shouldn't have to pay taxes anymore. Okay, Wyatt, let's we're not going we're not going to go down that road. Why? Like you don't have to pay taxes your whole life, do you? That's ridiculous. I agree with this young CRA member. <laughs> Wyatt didn't even know what the CRA was, so it's like he's he's just yeah. He just wanted to meet the man behind the name of Duncan. I had to know who Dunk was and why they went by Duncan or Dunk. Why do you go by Dunk? It's been my nickname ever since I was your age. Even younger. There you go, Wyatt. But I was this told you weren't allowed to use a nickname once you turned uh, 21 and could drink. You or can whatever. drink at 19. Oh. And you can have a nickname after that? You can have a nickname as long as you want. And don't let anybody tell you different. So, Duncan, have you have you seen anything yourself? That's that's what we're here for. Is to, we're trying to figure out what's going on in town. I may have seen a thing or two. Okay, this is me talking to the DM. It's like, don't I have a thing with. He sounds like a conspiracy theorist of sorts. Don't have a thing with them? Uh, check your character sheet, I guess. I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure you do, too. Sorry, everyone. I have to pull this up now. I got it. I'm positive I do. You have lots of personal contacts wherever you go. Pick four contact types from the following areas or from other areas agreed to you between agreed to between you and the keeper. You have picked local police, conspiracy theorists, bartenders, and morgue. That's Morgo to you. Uh okay, so I guess that means you have a contact. Like, how do you have a contact with this person, then? I don't know. That That's the thing, is you guys, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I have this. You gotta have a reason. So it's like, okay. are you on some sort of message board that he was on? Like, what? Like, what? Reddit? A, a Reddit thread of some sort? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. No, I just, I just remembered you saying Yeah, or... but that's the thing, is like, you have to have a reason behind everything in, the, okay. in this in this game. There has to be, like, okay. a backup for the reason. All right. So, yes, I'll have to figure something out. Yeah, it's like, okay, we can go back. That's fine. I'm just, 
I need to. Uh, but if you're out wanting, how... if you're trying to figure out like what you're like what he's doing or like role to manipulate somebody. Okay. I'm just worried that he's just gonna. I'm gonna roll crappy and then he's gonna kick us out of here. It's, it's a new game. Uh, it's not. It's not your old character. You'll it's be fine. It's a definite possibility. We could still roll. I could still roll. Cap if it's a one, it's your old character. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mean. Okay. I get to roll both of them, right? You get to roll two d six. Yes. Oh wait. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Is that plus your charm already or no? Eleven plus the charm. Okay. So what that means on a 10 plus, let me just pull it up here. Um, <clears throat> they do it for the reason you gave them. If you ask too much, they'll tell you. Um, okay. So basically manipulate somebody is also trying to get somebody to do something. So that's why it has a different uh, thing. So it's basically, Hey, you want to do this because I tell you this, but it's all, I'm also using it when you're talking to somebody. So it's not getting them to do something. It's getting them to tell you something, yeah. uh, just to explain to any listeners. Um, oh, okay. I'll, or to you, I guess, if I need to explain myself to you, but I didn't think I needed to. Um, yeah, that's so he's like, all right, fine. Um, I don't know why the CRA needs this information. But Again, not I was CRA. tracking something in the woods. Uh, it was kind of dark, um, almost dawn. Um, the sun was just starting mm -hmm. to come up, and I was following. Okay, something. let me let me look at Wyatt when he says that. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm I'm acknowledging uh, it to Wyatt. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. and I was tracking it and I was right behind it and it kind of like was in the in the wooded area and it was kind of hard to see and I was right behind it and I was like about to catch my um, my hunt and uh, as soon as I got close to it it just disappeared into thin air um, but I was sure that I was still being watched and I felt something in the air. It shook me. I haven't been to that area of the woods since. Can you show me on a map? I don't have a map, I said. <laughs> <laughs> what if I bring you a map? <laughs> Later. That was, that was the keeper talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't really keep maps, but I just know the woods this well. Uh, I might be able to guide you in the right direction. That'd you said great. you felt something creepy? I felt a presence. Felt... Like some somebody was watching you, right? Yes. Okay. Just like Big Brother. Sure. Okay. Yep. Well, you never know. My big brother watches over me. See? I knew it. Or at least he did. Did you have a brother? No, I actually have to look at this. Give me a second. I did not. Um, I had parents. They're gone now, and I'm the last of my line. No more me McGregor's too. after me. So, Dunk, is there anybody else that you think that we should talk to? Or it's like, I know that you obviously don't trust a lot of people but it's i like, tend to keep to myself i don't really talk to I, a lot of I people i figured that yeah I mean, especially being a tracker of sorts yeah other people to are be... too loud yeah true i get that anybody that you're 
I don't know. You haven't heard about anybody else seeing anything like this? Or feeling like that? I've seen it. Not that I'm aware of, but again, I tend to keep to myself. Finn told me about it. Who is Finn? My friend. We made a we made a castle in the woods. I uh I haven't seen any castles in the woods. I've seen the monastery. And I've seen the ruins, but I've never seen any castles. We just built it today. Oh, then I'll have to look for it next time I'm out. What ruins are you talking about? Um, there's some ruins in the woods. Was it close to that? No. Okay. And where's this monastery? Um... Maybe you could show us on the map. <laughs> both of which are in the woods. Uh, both of right. which are kind of off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, the... Uh, one second here. You were told about the ruins in the woods by... Um, Bob or Robert, your driver. What? Um, the guy who drove you into Glacier Ridge, he told you about the ruins. Give yeah. A second. We heard about it on the way over. Give me a second here yeah. now. Um. Uh. Yeah, so the monastery is a little bit off the beaten path in the woods to the east. Quite big, so you shouldn't have a problem finding it. Um, there's some ruins in the woods. Come across them, you're only about an hour north of town. The locals use it as a sort of landmark. Uh, so an hour north of town into the woods. And then um, the monastery is off the beaten path in the woods to the east. I mean, we can go to the monastery if we need to. They won't let you in. Nobody ever goes in. No? Well, not Good. nobody. But there's there's certain people who come to town occasionally. Um, pilgrimages. Um, and they come to town and go straight to the monastery, and then we never see them again. Never seen them again? It's a functioning sure monastery? That the monastery is not murdering people? I don't know. Nobody ever goes in. Did you ever snuck in? I. Good luck. Okay. I will. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're busy. And you said maybe some time you might show us where this happened or point it out to us? Yes. If you want. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want you to do anything that, you know, bothers you. Talking to you right now is kind of bothering me. I'm sorry I'm about sorry. that, Duncan. We're not, we're not trying to. Like I understand I said, that, but I don't normally talk to people this long. Well, well, we'll let you get back to your whatever you were doing. We're not Annie? normal people. I knew it. You're from the CRA. No, 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 no. Thanks. Thanks, Duncan, for helping us out. I pay my Let's taxes. Go we'll go, Wyatt. Let's go. Okay, if I ever please see come you again, the CRA, I'll let him know you pay all your taxes double plus. Exactly. 
In fact, I think I'm out of refund. I, I think you are too. Have a great day and uh, please come again. Do you have beaver coats? Yes. Okay, I'll be back. We have beaver hats too. As you walk out the I don't know if door. you can afford a beaver coat, Wyatt. I'm gonna look. Beaver's expensive. Did you catch what he said, Wyatt? About what? Did he pay his what taxes? What Finn told you. No, no. I know. But what Finn told you, that was pretty interesting. I know, I told you, the kids know what they're talking about. It's only $3,000 um, US. <laughs> yeah, that kind of money, Wyatt. I'm sure Wyatt has it. Yeah. His entire family died. He would have the inheritance. Actually, there's some that aren't that bad. There's some that are only like 500, 450. And those are like women's XXL jackets. So if you wanted nice. like a smaller kids style jacket, then. How about just a like beaver hat? It would look good in a, wee, a woman's jacket. Uh, how much is a beaver hat? Yeah, I think I keep your head pretty warm. Oh, and there's one right there uh, for 200 A jacket? Yeah. It's size small, though. Uh, I'm he's size a child. Small. He's a child. He would be small. Yeah, so you could actually get a beaver jacket if you wanted. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about the quality of a $200 beaver jacket. There is nothing for, be there is nothing for a beaver hat. Hat. Whatever was living in that beaver's fur is still in that fur. Yeah. <laughs> you mean a beaver? Yeah, that's what we mean. Sure, totally. <laughs> well, that was go, interesting. Go ahead and get a jacket. You're just not allowed to put it into any of the vehicles. <laughs> What was interesting about it? What was interesting? Just, it's like the same type of thing. I found that interesting that it matched up to what that kid was talking about. Yeah, because nobody ever listens to kids. Okay, well, do we want to go look for him, Wyatt, or what do you want to do? Yeah. Did you get any footage of, of uh, Duncan or no? I mean, not after he told me to put the camera down. No, no, that's okay. But did you get, you got some of him anyway? Yeah, I got it when we walked in. Okay. So, where do you think we should go to find Finn? Um, we might try the, the playground. And if he's not there, then maybe my other friends will know where he's at. But if I talk to them, you probably got to hang back. All right. You just let me know. Well, it's not like you would have told them I'm a monster or anything. <laughs> and he can't be there. <laughs> he scares people away. Me being around isn't an option. Charlie, Charlie's just kind of hanging back somewhat, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. well, He's walking just around, I would distance. be nearby. Yeah, walking around, I'd be nearby, but when you're actually talking to people, I wouldn't, I would be hanging back. Yeah. Okay, well, let's head to the playground. Okay. Uh, so you guys head uh, to the left and up and over to the park. You guys kind of know, uh, understand the layout so far? A little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, it would help if this map would had a proper scale to it. You know uh, what? How would that help? <laughs> well, like, we're going into, like, hallway-sized buildings. How does that work? I don't like need magnets. this for um, or are these roads act like absolutely gigantic? 
The roads are 15 feet. But the houses, I can't, like, I can't... Whatever. Yeah, so you, you need to just scale down the roads. Like, yes, they're 15 feet, but they should not be three blocks wide when the buildings are two. Fair enough. It's it's perfect. Uh, I'm just trying to get something for you guys to look at. Um, yeah, icky. Okay, so you guys go to the park. Um, I wonder yeah. how I implant uh, GPS into Wyatt. Uh, just do what they did in Brooklyn Nine Nine and put it in his yogurt. Um, okay. Okay. So when you get to the park, uh, the two kids are gone, but Finn is there. How convenient. Hey, Finn. Oh, I'm going to run over. Hi. How's it going? How are you? It's going pretty good. Did you find something? Did you know who Dunk is? Um, my mom says he's crazy. He's old. Yeah, and crazy. And he still uses a nickname. Are you, are you not allowed to do that? I was told you were supposed to stop when you could drink. I drink now. Um, do you have a nickname? N no. For sure than Finn. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? I guess not. Wyatt, do you want to introduce me to your friend? Hi, Wyatt. This is Maxine. You're, you're Wyatt. You're Wyatt. Uh, I'm Wyatt. <laughs> this is Maxine. Sorry, Monster has me uh, concerned. Yeah, that happens. Hi, Finn. How are you? Um, I'm good. Why, it was telling me you guys were building something in the forest, in the woods? You're not supposed to tell anybody about that. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that secret? Yeah. Okay, I won't tell anybody. I, I know Wyatt won't tell anybody either. Right, Wyatt? I thought we were supposed to have a big castle. We were ruling everybody. I thought they were supposed to know. We rule the forest. Not everybody. They don't oh. listen. I misunderstood. I'm sorry. It's fine, I guess. I'll just have to move it. I didn't tell him where oh. it was. Yeah, no, he didn't. He just said it was in the woods. Guess. So I, I met your mom, Finn. Why? Well, I just wanted to make sure it was okay for me to have a chat with you. Why does she get to tell you that? Well, you know, sometimes it's grown-ups. Grown-ups have to make sure that it's okay for us to talk to kids. Grown-ups have special rules for grown-ups. Yeah, we do. It's like I don't want I don't want your mom being upset because we talked to you. So we wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure that it was okay. Okay. I mean, you could have just come and talk to me. No, I I realize that, and I know that Wyatt met you earlier, so that was nice. But no, I just it's it's something that grown ups do. So it's like I just wanted to make sure it was okay, and it was like okay. Well, what do you want? Well, Wyatt was saying that you've seen some stuff some scary stuff yeah so can you tell me anything about it or that's kind of what we're what we're doing here in town we want to see if we can get some answers about it okay so have you seen anything yourself uh, i've seen the footprints Really? Where in the woods or where did you see them? Um, yeah. 
No. In town. Going in to town. the woods. Okay. Where did it where did the footprints lead from? Uh I don't know. I just saw them in town. I didn't follow them. It'd be kinda of dumb to follow monster footprints. Into the woods, you mean? Anywhere. How do you know you if he's see... coming or go how do you know if he's going one way or the other way? Wouldn't the feet point in the direction he's going? What if they have backwards feet though? Oh, that's true. That's true. Exactly. But, but sometimes, yeah, it's like, did he have toes? I don't know. What if okay. the toes are not toes? Very true. Very true. So was it was it near a building that you were near, or do you know where boats you saw it in town? I don't remember. I only saw it once. Only one time? How long yeah. ago was that? Um. Um. Two. Three months ago. Okay. And you said it went off into the woods. I think so. Is it a part? Is it a part? That, oh, no, you said you didn't follow it at all, right? It looked like it was heading that way. Okay. Have you seen anything else besides footprints? Um, nope. Well, Wyatt said there was something that you guys are that was it just you by yourself or did anybody else see it with you? Um, it was just me. Wyatt said something about that probably the best time to see something though would be in the morning. Well, yeah, it was it was morning time when I saw it. Like before school? Yeah. So what what did you see in the morning? Uh the footprints. Oh, you just saw the footprints. You didn't see That's anything else? What I just said. Did I not just you say that? You, you said you saw footprints in town. I didn't know if you saw anything else in the morning. No, that's what I saw. And you only saw that one time, you said? Uh, yep. Yeah. Maybe more. Just one, I think. I don't know. Okay. I didn't write it down or anything. No, no, I get it. So your mom says you get into lots of places and see lots of stuff, so I wasn't sure if you'd seen or heard anything else. Uh, nope, that's it. Do you sometimes hear people talking about stuff? Um, I don't really pay attention to adults. Even when they're talking about stuff that you like? Um, yeah. Hey, um, I think I'll just kind of back off and I don't know if Wyatt wants to try to get anything else from him or not. Well, it was nice meeting you, Finn. It was nice meeting you, you too. Know any other kids in town? Um, no. Well, yeah, I know other kids in town. What do you need? I just wanted to make some more friends. Um, are you looking for kids like me? Yeah. Okay, well, um, there's... Sorry, I'm hearing something. Weird. There's like a voice. And we watch our person get murdered on camera. That'd be funny. Um, well, I have my window open like a crack and I'm hearing a voice coming up. But it's like in my backyard. But there are other houses around, so I'm not too concerned. Um, 
Although, wouldn't it be funny if I did get murdered? Um, super oh, funny. Super duper funny. Possibly a tad bit traumatic. Nah. Just, uh, just a tad. Well, there's... On brand, um, though. though, if that happened, it'd be disappointing you weren't on stream, because then we'd go viral. Exactly. It's true. <laughs> uh, well, there's Lily, and there's Daniel, um, and there's uh, Diego, but he hasn't been around for a while. Um, and then there's Sadie, but she's a little bit young. Um, and then there's yeah. Emma. Rory's also kind of young too. If oh, I there's also Macy. Making... Yeah. Yeah. If I was gonna start trying to make friends with somebody, who would you suggest I start with? Outside of you, obviously. Um, Diego's pretty cool. Okay. You know where I can find him? He hasn't been around for a while. My um, mom said that his family went away for a bit because something happened with their their grandpa. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I sometimes help solve stuff, so maybe I can help with his grandpa so he can come back. My mom says he's not coming back for a long, 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 long time. Oh. Well, I'll still see if I can help. Okay. But yeah, Diego's pretty cool. It's just, yeah, he's gone right now. Okay. Well, I will see if I can't fix that. Okay. Well, since he's gone, who should I go talk to instead? Um, I mean, if you like girls, Macy's around. She's fun. She likes to draw. Okay. Oh, cool. Drawing's fun. I'm not very good at it, but I like to draw too. And then Emma is also kind of fun too. Okay. Have any of them seen anything? I don't know. I don't talk to anybody about it. Nobody believes me anyway. I believe you. Good. I'm telling the truth. I know. That's what I keep telling her. You didn't believe me? That's I thought you, it was Maxine. back further. I don't know. He pointed at you and he shouted at you. I'm like... Hello? I, I, it's not that I don't believe you. I just, I want to make sure that we can find out more about it. That's all. It's okay. Like, I, uh, sorry, I just want to interrupt for a second. Everybody now has um, tokens. So you can put wherever you guys are on the map, just like that. Ta-da! Isn't that fancy? I cannot select. That's fancy. I can't move my token. Oh, you can't control it? Here, let me let me fix that for you. Peace out. <laughs> Wow. Charlie um, sprints into the forest. <laughs> we finally lost Charlie. <laughs> he was the monster anyway. Yep. Just at midnight. Why do you think I wake up so early? He was he's been awake for hours at that point. Okay, um, well, I fixed that. Uh, is there anything else you were wanting to ask him or no? No. No. Okay.
All right. So what are you guys doing now? Okay. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind going to the apothecary because that was one of the other places that. Uh, who was it? Victoria. Or was that me that found that out? I can't remember. No, Evelyn. It was Evelyn. Evelyn told oh. you that? Yes. Yes, about Cass at the apothecary. Yeah. So. I think you guys should all be able to control your tokens now, but correct me if I'm wrong. Should I give it a go? Your dad's not in front of the screen right now, so I'll have to wait. Uh, I don't think I can move mine. Hold on. Nope, I can. You can? Yeah, I can. And Charlie is upside down. <laughs> so I definitely know he can control his. Okay. Uh, oh. Sorry. Was somebody about to say something? He wants to see if you can move the token. Uh, Where are you anyway? Where's Victor? I don't know. Yeah, wandering, lodge. Wandering around. They're just you're at, wandering around. You're at the lodge? I'm just keeping track of them, so wherever. Retriever. Okay, the lodge is down here. So I'm the failed person and he's the base station person. <laughs> Apparently. But hey, anyway. But hey, anyway. I think once you actually get on the hunt. Oh man, 